Welcome to the integral of secant cubed x dx. So just a quick note, the integral of secant cubed of x dx is equal to the integral of tangent to the zero of x times secant cubed of x dx. So this is an even power on tangent. So you have an even power on tangent and an odd power on secant. And that means that we are dealing with case three. So we have a case three scenario. Um, we cannot just force uh, u sub. Instead, we are going to wind up running integration by parts. So what we are going to do here is we are going to run integration by parts. We are trying to evaluate the indefinite integral, the integral of secant cubed x dx. We are going to run integration by parts. And the rule was to use dv equal to secant squared. dv equal to secant squared x dx. So integral of secant cubed x dx is equal to the integral of secant of x times secant squared of x dx. So if we do our u subst or sorry, if we do our integration by parts, we have our u is secant of x. And our dv is secant squared of x. Differentiating down the left and integrating down the right, we have the derivative of secant is secant of x tangent of x. We have the integral of secant squared is tangent of x. So we are going to add the first diagonal product and we are going to subtract the integral of the bottom row. So this becomes that the integral of secant cubed of x dx is equal to secant x times tangent of x minus the integral of tangent squared of x times secant of x dx. Tangent squared because we have secant of x times tangent of x times tangent of x inside of that integral. We are going to rewrite that tangent squared as a one minus secant squared. Sorry, as a secant squared minus one. So tan squared of x is secant squared x minus one. So we are now looking at the integral of secant cubed x dx is equal to secant of x times tangent of x minus the integral of secant squared of x minus 1 times secant of x dx. And this becomes the integral of secant cubed of x dx is equal to secant of x times tangent of x minus the integral of secant cubed of x 
dx plus the integral of secant of x dx. So that's multiplying in our secant and then splitting into our two separate integrals. But the integral of secant of x is one that we do in fact know. The integral of secant of x was the natural log of the absolute value of secant of x plus tangent of x, and then plus a c. So essentially what we get is that uh, we have the integral of secant cubed of x dx is equal to secant of x times tangent of x plus the natural log of the absolute value of secant of x plus tangent of x minus the integral of secant cubed of x dx. At this point, we can go ahead and solve for the integral of secant cubed x dx. We wind up getting, we have two copies of the integral of secant cubed x dx is equal to secant of x times tangent of x plus the natural log of the absolute value of secant of x plus tangent of x. And so we get, therefore, that the integral of secant cubed of x dx is equal to 1 half times secant of x tangent x plus one half times the natural log of the absolute value of secant of x plus tangent of x plus c. So again, that was a rather lengthy process to get down to the integral of secant cubed. Uh, it required some integration by parts, required sort of your more of a cyclical integration situation where you did have to rearrange and solve for integral of secant cubed x, required remembering the integral of secant of x, um, but it was possible and not too long to run through the process. So that was the integral of secant cubed of x. Uh, in the next video, we will go ahead and look at a slightly more complicated example.